Hey everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share. I forgot to um, show you guys. I told you a while ago I was doing a bunch of sets or kits, as you might want to call them, of these uh, cracker treat popper boxes. I guess you want to call them. They're little candy treat boxes, really. Um, I did a bunch of sets. I did a few in Halloween, and I did Christmas ones. I'm still working on a few more, but I'm just going to show you how they turned, some of them turned out. So this is one of the sets. You get 10 different treat boxes, and the sentiment, I paper pieced all of this together from my Cricut. So it comes with 10 of those, and it also comes with a bag of 20 pre-cut ribbons. So this is one of the Halloween sets. I got this one done here as well. Really cute papers. If you guys want to see um, like the pictures of the different papers that are in each set, I'm going to post a link below to my eBay store, and you can check out the photographs on there. Um, but I made a bunch of sets up for like my store and uh, craft shows and things like that. So these are some of the uh, Christmas ones I made up with the craft color um, papers. This is like a gingerbread set and this one has the coffee mugs in it. This is what the coffee mugs look like when that's put together. It's really cute. Or hot cocoa mugs, whatever you want to say. Um, and then I paper pieced all these sentiments together as well. So this is how they come, you know, if you get a, a pack. Um, but anyway, once you get your kit, you take out one of your boxes, okay? And all you have to do is pop it open into a square. I've already adhered them together. So most of the work is done for you. And you're going to get, like I said, 20 pre-cut ribbons to make your bows. So basically what you want to do is just make your bow on one end. Okay. And then you want to fill with candy on this end. And then you can tie your bow on the other side. And then they all come with 20 of these. These are already made embellishments. This one's a cocoa mug that I made and I put little snowflakes behind it. A hand stamped. Have yourself a merry little Christmas and put the banner on the mug. Used a little white jelly roll pen as like an accent there. So all you'll really need to do is add a little bit of glue to the back and pop on your sentiment like that. And your candy box, treat favor box is done. Okay, if you get the um, Halloween ones, they basically come like this. You just have to put, you'll just have to glue on your sentiment to the treat box. Here's one that I have that's not actually closed. Um, I have two of these sets on my in my store. And these are the different patterns of papers. Okay, and like I said, you just have to pop the boxes open. Tie your ribbon around one end, fill them, and tie your ribbon around the other. And then all of the sentiments come bagged up already. You just have to take one out, add a little bit of glue to the back, and adhere it to your box. And that's it. So these are the bunch of different varieties I have. Um, like I said, if you want to see um, a closer picture of all the different types that are in the bags, check out my link below to my store. But also, like if you're doing craft shows, um, these are great for craft shows, I think. I would totally um, want to buy a few of these just to, you know, if I was doing stocking stuffers or I had some candy, special candies I wanted to hand out to people in Halloween and and things like that. Um, also, I think they would be great favors if you were going to have a few guests over for your Thanksgiving dinners or your Christmas dinners to put these on their plates so they have a little treat to take home with them. Um, 
but they're so addicting to make. They were so much fun to make. I just kept going with it. And uh, um, I actually have another set I'm going to probably try to get on um, in another day or two with these really beautiful papers with the gold. And uh, I love this paper. So I'm working on at least two sets of these right now. Um, but the ones you see here are the ones I have in my store if you'd like to check those out. And I did promise I was going to come back and share it with you, and then I forgot, and I apologize. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care. Have a great day.